What's up guys? I'm Senville and today we're gonna to be going over Mozzie the operator uh, We're gonna be going into a comprehensive guide of what you should be thinking about while you're playing him What you should be using his utility on how you should work with your team as Mozzie and basically How to play Mozzie. So uh, let's get into it. Right, so now let's go over Mozzie's loadout So we have the commando nine and the Roni. Both guns are pretty solid uh, one excellent commando you have flash you have everything you want a uh, vertical grip or angle grip depending on how you want to run it and then you have laser commando is more used for uh if you're more of an aggressive roamer and you're trying to run around without like having to worry about like 1.5 or anything like that commando is a good option but the roni i personally like a lot because it's it's really good for like holding those pixels and the there's not that many 1.5 scopes in the game so the fact that you have it on a pretty well-balanced stop and a pretty fast gun. This fire is insane. I personally prefer the Roni over the Commando. Commando is an amazing gun still though. You also have pretty nice pistol, 47 damage. I mean, nothing too crazy to write about here. And you also have access to the Nitro or Barbed. But the time you're gonna be running the Nitro. All right, now let's talk about Mozzie's test launcher, his utility. So you can put them on doorways, anything that enters the radius, any drones, either a Twitch drone, normal drone, or a Flores drone, Normally you don't want to just place them on door frames though. You want to try to actually hunt down drones so you can like find your drones and then leave presets like Valkyrie cams. You want to leave like, let's say, let's say I get a drone and I can put a drone up there and just leave it for presets. But when they come into master, I can run down here, leave a preset nitro, maybe something like that. I can check on my camera that they're there and blow them out. So function of Mozzie as a operator, honestly, when you're thinking about the operators as like Maestro being an anchor, Cade being an anchor or support, Jaeger being kind of an entry slash support, Mozzie is going to be more of a roamer aggressive player. So usually when you're playing Mozzie, you're going to be a little bit more aggressive than most of your teammates. Like here you see me going under, throwing that Nitro up top, a ticket. Gonna be getting that nitro based on calls and then we're going to be taking one out on new bout mozzie pairing with the nitro with the 1.5 roni or the commando which are both decent guns in their own rights definitely a good option as a fragger mozzie as a roamer definitely needs a lot of help from his teammates in terms of his utility like if you take a drone obviously you're gonna need teammates to watch your drones while you're moving around the map you can leave your preset nitros, and as long as your drone's somewhat nearby, you can tell your teammates, hey, I have a nitro here, tell me when they're at. Operators that pair well with Mozzie would be operators like Mute. So a Mute and Mozzie combo is a lot of intel denial for the attackers. Or you could do a Mozzie Valkyrie or a Mozzie Maestro combo and just have a lot of intel so you know exactly where they're coming in from. You're always aware of what's going on in the side of the building or outside the building essentially. All right, so when you take drones as Mozzie, you're able to move them around. So here you can see me piling around a Twitch drone. I see people coming in and use that Intel to my advantage, getting a frag. With, when you take drones like the Twitch drone, you're able to use its ability and zap things. So you can destroy utility, like let's say a Thermite or an Ace or Fauna Breach that's on down. Try to spook them away like I just did. You can just kind of drone your teammates around on defense. You can see that I droned up. I'm gonna throw a nitro preset. I'm gonna detonate it as I move forward. So I had a little bit of intel that they're up here. So I know once to the right, once to the left, I'm gonna swing over. He's not one five. Nate comes out, I take one out. Try to take out the second, missed the shots though. But I did take out two operators in the span of a minute of the round. So let's answer the biggest question in the room. Why do I even wanna pick Mozzie versus any other operator? Well, Mozzie is a good hybrid operator. Like when you're talking about operators like Mutes or like a Roamer, like let's say Vigil, he's a good hybrid because you can stop a lot of attacker intel and you get a lot of functions that are kind of nice like Valkyrie, which when you do take drones, which is, it's hard to sometimes take a drone if you're, the attackers are being a little smart about it. But once you get the drones, it's pretty nice, especially because most of the time in higher elo, Valkyrie is banned a lot. So you're not going to have active drones thrown around that you can actually see. So as Mozzie, you will get those cameras that are pretty nice to be able to use. But just to be clear, when you do take drones such as like a Flores drone, it will just explode. So really the only special drone you can get as Mozzie is a Twitch drone. But 
honestly you're really just shooting for the normal gens because not a lot of the time you'll be able to even find the twitch gens but what do you do honestly they don't offer much of an advantage compared to normal gens so Let's talk about how to roam as Mozzie. You just really have to make sure you're keeping track of your team and how far into the site the attackers are. Because if you're not keeping track of it, they could take the site, plant the bomb, and basically win the round before you're even relevant. You have to make sure you're keeping eyes on where the attackers are at, listening to your teammates' callouts, and just being really like present in the fight. Because a lot of times people will roam way too far away and they won't really be present when the attackers are actually pushing into the building. You want to make sure you position yourself well in cutoffs, in cross sections where attackers have to go through, or they have, or if they know where you're at, then you can buy time, stall them, just do it, whatever you can to help you. Basically, your teammates that are on site, your anchors, survive longer. So there's no time left on the clock and they have to push through a door or they don't have enough time to really do anything and basically you win. All right, so mozzie and prep phase, you're gonna be wanting to actively hunt down drones that you can capture for yourself to leave presets around the map or you wanna use your pests to denial of enemy drones so you they can't get inside. They'll see the pests and turn around. A lot of times they, the attackers won't sacrifice our drone, they'd rather just have their drone alive and we'll drive away so you will basically deny that room of any intel which will slow down the attackers by a considerable amount he's one of the best fraggers in rainbow six siege that's why you'll see him in on all levels of play either in pro league ranked aelo or casual basically people just love playing mozzie because his guns are amazing the roni is extremely good with the flash hider personally use the commando also with the flash hider Honestly, I would use a flash hider on probably both of the guns because it the way that it reduces the recoil is kind of nice. As for counters for Mozzie, honestly, I would say that there aren't really any counters for Mozzie because his utility isn't that impactful to defender rounds. It's not like new jammers or Cade charges that will like deny walls. These are more for capturing drones. So I would say that he doesn't really have any counters, but he does counter several operators such as which and Flores, which only has two drones and Flores has four. And when Mozzie takes the Flores drones, they will just blow up Twitch. He can run, run around and zap other drones, which is extremely annoying for the attackers. The best operator to pair Mozzie with would have to be a mute. This more denial of Intel. It is extremely hard to find anything that's going on with the defenders. When you have a mute and a Mozzie on the board. You literally cannot drone effectively. Another good op to pair him with is a Vigil. A Vigil in a Mozzie roam is extremely powerful because Vigil can't be droned and Mozzie's hard to drone. And those are two super strong roamers. And uh, they're definitely gonna get a couple frags before they get both get taken out. What maps is Mozzie the best on? Honestly, any maps that require a lot of droning for roamers, he's gonna excel. He's kind of functions like Vigil with a little bit more bells and whistles about him in Vigil. Um, we have Cafe, Oregon, Consulate, bank, any big open maps that require a lot of droning so people don't get flanked. Moz is gonna do well because he's gonna capture those drones, leave them in key choke points, and then you're gonna have those drones for yourself to use against them and get the jump on them. All right, guys, I hope that guide helped you guys learn a little bit more about how to play Mozzie. And you, hopefully it helps you in your future ranked matches and uh, get some dubs. Remember, if you are roaming, you pay to the site, if your teammates are going down, make sure to come back.
Till next time, guys. I'm Senvale. Peace out.